Hey everyone, this is Matt. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Build Your Kingdom Here by Wren Collective Experiment. It's a great band out of Northern Ireland. Um, good song. We played this, I guess, for the first time at church maybe a month ago, and as soon as I heard it, I was hooked. I mean, this band is so good. They're all so talented, and you know, the lyrics are great, and uh, just fun stuff to play. But um, as far as this song, I used UltimateGuitar.com for reference for chord charts. And they had some charts, uh, capo 2, and playing it in C. And they had some that were no capo playing it in D. Because the song's in D. If you do capo 2 and play it in C, it's still in D. I mean, it's, the song is in D. So it's going to sound the same regardless of how you do it. But, you know, whichever chords you like the best, you know, go ahead and do it that way. Like I said, it's going to sound the same regardless. Uh, but for this video, I'm just going to be playing it in D. Okay? So the main chords... By playing it in D with no capo are G, D, and A are the main chords. All right, and during the chorus, there's a B minor, and there's an interlude section towards the end of the song that also has B minor in it. Okay, but yeah, so B minor and then D, D, and A are, are the main chords. Uh, but as far as the strumming, that's probably the hardest part of this song is the strumming. It's very fast, you know, typical Irish folk band. A lot of fast strums, a lot of heavy accented down strums with a lot of um, quick little down up downs thrown in there, you know. Okay. So, yeah, that's the verse the verse progression, just G, G, A, and D, or excuse me, G, D to A, and it's sort of a down, 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 uh, in between downs. Okay. All right. And that's the same thing for the pre-chorus too. It's just G, D, and A. All right. That part, you know, after the pre-chorus, going into the next verse. It's very Mumford and Sons-ish. You're accenting on the ands. One and two and three and three. So this is one, two, three, four down here. One and two. Okay. So that's that's another little different part that you may have to work on on those um, you know, accenting on the ands. But yeah, let me just start the song, and I'll call out the chords, and we'll hit the uh, verse and pre-chorus first. So, song's in D. G. D. D. G. D. G. Then for the second verse, it's more downs. Okay, just down strokes. Okay. 
Okay, so those are little short interludes before the chorus and, you know, going into the second verse, it's just D. Okay? And then he goes to the chorus after that. Now, the chords in the chorus are um, D, A, B minor, and G. Okay? And there's a few little quick uh, little jumps between G, D, oops, oh, G, D, and A, okay? Uh, but yeah, I'll just run through the chorus and uh, call out those chords too during the chorus. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the chorus next. Okay, so the chorus starts on D for you know build your team. It goes to A, so D, A, B minor, G. starts in with the third verse and then you're back to the you're back to G D and A again all right so let me just hit the chorus real quick and I'll uh, call out those chords Back to uh, G A G D and A again for the for the next verse. Okay, so yeah, after the um, third verse, it goes into another chorus, and then it's got the little interlude section, and the interlude is. D, B minor, and G. Actually, it's mostly just D and B minor. There's one G thrown in there. So let me find that part. at the beginning you're just hitting one strum per chord at first so it's got the two little short staccato D's it goes build your starts back in with the heavy strumming again. All right, so let me let me just hit that chorus again. So that's finishing up the interlude. Oh, sorry. Now you're on D. Stay on D. All right. D, G, K. Minor. G, D, A, 
down deep. Deep and deep. Okay, quick little A D thrown in there, I think sounds pretty good when you're ending on the D. Okay, kind of fits. Even though the chord chart didn't have that, I think it sounds pretty good. Okay. And that's basically the song. It's, uh, the strumming is the hardest part. I mean, it's just constant downstrokes, pretty much, with some occasional, you know, you know, down, up, down, thrown in there, and then, you know. You know, that's, that's a little tricky. But if you play it in D, the chords are relatively, you know, straightforward, with the exception of a B minor thrown in there. You know, getting from A to B minor is a little bit of a jump, but still, you know, pretty much standard chords uh, playing it in D. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the song and the whole song. Fun song to play. Um, yeah, great, great tune. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to fire away in the comment box. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, thanks for watching, and um, we will see you again next time. I appreciate it. Thanks again.